hi guys my name is angel and i'm going to be taking you through the difference between the css grid and the css flexbox uh now quickly explaining the difference uh css grid is a two-dimensional layout uh that means it uh, enables the designer to render both rows and columns simultaneously in their layouts now, whereas a uh, CSS flexbox is a one-dimensional layout, so it enables the designer to render either a row or a column. Now, also, uh, we can say that a CSS grid presents a larger canvas, while a flexbox offers just uh, a minute functionality that operates in a restricted area. Now this can best be explained uh, from this particular image. We can see that this layout consists of both a grid and a flexbox. So the grid takes on a very large canvas, a very large space, whereas a flexbox is just a functionality that is embedded within a grid that we can see from this particular image we have within it. A flex box that so it is embedded to provide a particular functionality now also previously I said that uh, a, a flex box is a single dimension layout like we can see from this particular layout this is what a grid usually looks like though it can be a row or it can be a column depends on what the designer likes um, a CSS grid is more like rows and columns now moving on to the code, uh, we have an HTML page right here that uh, simply shows a div with a class grid container then a nested div that have items. Now these particular items are what I want within my grid. So I'm going to style it uh, but first uh, I'm going to show you how this page looks like without the grid. So. I'm going to preview my page and this is how it looks like but then I want to style this page so that it can look like something close to this that has rows and columns laid out in a page and looks more appealing yes so moving on back to the code I'm going to put back my CSS and as we can see from here I'm trying to design uh, every everything that I want within the grid so I'm styling the grid container class which is the class that I gave to my main div right here that contains all the elements that I want in a grid so I'm styling it right here and giving it a display of grid so giving it a display of grid is basically telling my browser that it should render whatever is within this class in a grid but then a grid i need to define the dimensions that i want for my column so i'm going to set it to automatic so that my browser can automatically render my rows and columns based on the contents that are within it so i also go ahead and set the grid gap background color padding based on what i prefer so in this particular example I'm trying to style the divs that are within my main div, which has a class of grid container. So I'm styling it, I'm styling them and giving them uh, different styles based on my preference, background color, text alignment, center, padding 20 pixels, font size 30 pixels. Uh, then I go ahead and style the items, item one, item three, based on my preference so if I save and preview again it should appear in a grid as we can all see this basically looks like looks better than our page before we styled it using a grid so a grid enables us to style our page in columns and rows so basically uh, the best way we could explain it we could have a header and then a sidebar then we have the main the main the main part of the page which could have maybe a blog then we have a footer that could have copyrights and all that so we are basically styling it to look 
more appealing and better for someone who is using a web page now moving on to the flex box we have a page that is more like the same page that we had so also if we remove this css code and preview this is our page looks like before we style it using a flex box so when we come back when we come back to our code and style it now right here we are also styling the flex container class which is the class that contains all these elements that we want to put in our flex box so we style it and give it a display of flex however for grid we give it a display of grid now by giving it a display of flex we are basically telling our browser that it should render it in a flex box that whatever is in this container should be rendered in a flex box we go ahead and give it other styles then right here we are styling all the divs that are within the main div which has a class of flex container giving them different styles as we like so if we save and preview it should give us our content in a flex box as we can see right here so a flex box also it enables the designer to design content in such a way that that content can be rendered uh, when viewed from screens of different sizes so a flex box enables us to maintain the design so it is advantageous when a, a designer is designing content that will be viewed from different screen sizes they need to think about using flex boxes in their designs yes so the main difference between the flex the flex boxes and grid box is that a flex box is a two is a one dimensional layout whereas a grid is a two dimensional layout thank you so much for watching my video